Oh, um, hey, 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 guys. Hey, uh, um, you caught me at welcome a bad back time. To the podcast. <laughs> oh, welcome back to uh, another episode. Ah, wait, hold on, hold on. He's even got the drink. <sighs> <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, welcome to another episode of the broadcast. This is episode uh seventy? Yeah, seventy. Yeah, no, just... it's 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 sixty nine part two. Six, sixty nine V two aka episode seven episode seventy. Yeah. Uh I'm Justin. I'm Sevy. And I wanna start this episode by saying uh <laughs> have you been uh watching any shows lately? Like any any good shows you've been watching lately? Not really. <laughs> yeah, how's that? Oh, you didn't you didn't watch One Division? Close was the one watching One Division. Yeah. Um, uh, I've just been playing Mario, Mario 3D World on the Switch, which is such a blast. Yeah, it, re- it recently came out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to Sun Trip. I'm first trying to beat 3D World first, and then I'm gonna do Bowser's Fury. But the thing is, what sucks. Wait, about is it two Bowser's different things? What? Yeah, it's two separate games. Oh, so if if I don't want to play 3D World, then I can just go into Fury. Yeah. Huh. One thing that sucks is that I play on a Switch Lite, and the thing is, the game uh, Bowser's Fury runs 30 FPS on handheld, oh. and 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 on when on dock mode it's 60 FPS, and when it's when it's on handheld mode 30 FPS, it's very noticeable. Hmm. And it's very not appeasing. Interesting, very interesting. Wait, so I'm, I wonder if, because uh, I've I've only seen like the only thing I've seen from Bowser's Fury is like trailers. But I wonder if it like, well, it probably does. Does it still play or still has the same mechanics as a 3D world when you play Bowser's Fury? Because that look that looks like a totally different game. That looks like Mario yeah, Odyssey. Yeah, it's st- it still has. It's basically the same. It's just it's like it's Mario 3D World cross Mario Odyssey. Because the, they got like the new. I open think stuff. I think you got added moves. I think there is added moves from Mario Odyssey, but it's mostly the same. Cool, cool. Well, I I brought up a question about uh shows, watching shows because uh, like two days ago I decided fuck it and I just started watching Breaking Bad again. <laughs> Yo, you, I actually never watched Breaking Bad. Yeah, I know we brought it before. I I I I watched the first episode and the. Uh, What's it called? And then half of the second episode, and then one day I just got like super bored, so I'm like fuck it. And after my long ass, long ass hiatus, I went to watch the second half of the episode, and uh, second half of the second episode, and first half of the third episode. And I gotta say that second half of the second episode was very interesting. Uh, oh, by the way, the spoilers for like the beginning of Breaking Bad, I guess. Wow, I'm like <laughs> I'm thinking I'm watching the show and you're spoiling. Oh, for real. <laughs> No, you go. <laughs> I don't care. So basically, it, it, it's like it's like the aftermath of episode one, where like they, they uh, drug. Well, they didn't really drug. <laughs> they were being held at gunpoint to make drugs, and they somehow uh, used uh, the power of science to burn their lungs and face, and they're all like messed up, and they're just like keeping them. One of them's dead, and they're keeping the uh, the other guy in the basement. <laughs> and uh, Walter and Jesse are just wondering. What to do? They literally think of just killing him, and uh, and hiding the bodies, and they were, they were looking for, <laughs> and it was they did a coin toss, and Jesse was, uh, and Jesse ended up getting heads. So Jesse was the one to get the plastic bins with the acid, you know the that's how they get rid of the bodies. And Walt yeah. and Walter's job was to go down to the basement and uh, for the guy that was still alive and just being held there, it was his job to kill him. And then, uh, but then, like, it took him, like, forever. He still hasn't killed him. And it, it took him, yeah. like, yeah. Because he's, he's, like, struggling. He's still trying to bring himself to do it. And one uh. one part, I, I, one scene in that in that episode where, I think it was the same episode, where I think it was very powerful. Like, that was, like, a very great scene where he's, like, sh- Walter's shitting on the toilet. And he's, he's, he's running down in a notebook. He made, like, he split the paper into two and made two sections. He, 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 uh, he, on the left side, it said, don't kill him. On the right side, it said, kill him. And he's writing down all the reasons on why he should do it. For don't kill him, he wrote down so many reasons, like, 
No, it, it, it wasn't don't kill him. It was uh, free him or or kill him. And he on the free him column, he's right down so many reasons on why he should do it. So he was writing down like GDO Christian principles. Uh, it's the right thing to do. Murder is wrong, <laughs> and and like all that stuff. But then on the with all with like about twenty things he wrote down on the free him thing. On the other side, where it says kill him, the, the reasons why you kill him, there's only one reason, and it said if you let him go, he will kill you. Every, he will kill your entire family, and he was just he was just looking at that paper with his head in his hands on what he what he should do, and I felt that was a very powerful scene. Later in the episode, yeah. uh, <laughs> Jesse got like fed up with like the fucking guy in the basement. <laughs> So like he's so he was just wanted to get the just wanted to get the job done hide the bodies so he went to the RV which was their RV and had that had that had uh, the other dead or that had the dead body in it and which was the cousin of the guy who's in the basement Jesse uh, dragged the body up to his uh what's it called up up to his bathtub in in his uh bathroom. He puts it there, and he's like, "I'm sick of this shit. Why do what, what, what I have to do it?" And he's just like pouring the he's pouring the acid and it so we can melt the body and all the and all the things right there in the bathtub. <laughs> then later in the episode, Walter, <laughs> they Walter meets up with Jesse and they're talking and like what they should do. And and Jesse was like, "I don't know. No, I already I already did it. I already got rid of one of the bodies. <laughs> I don't know why you want me to buy a plastic bin." Well, I got a perfectly good bathtub upstairs, and Walt has this. Walter has this uh, very shocked expression on his face. He's like, "You, you, you what?" And he he turns around. They're both walking very slowly, and they see they look up at the ceiling, and the ceiling's dripping acid and blood. Uh. And then, like a, a second later, the whole bathtub falls, or like not the whole bathtub because it, it disintegrated. Like eh. the whole like ceiling, cl- yeah, collapsed. And the whole ceiling collapsed, and all of it, all that fell down was acid and guts and bones. And they just uh. looked up, and they see like the bathtub had to disintegrate. And Walter just looks, and Walter just looks at him, and then he's like, "Hydrochloric acid will melt through metal, marble, all that glass, all that stuff, but it won't burn through plastic." And it, that's why you should listen to me and get the plastic bins. And then like they they spent the. The beginning of the fir- the third episode, trying to, what's it called? <laughs> Fix everything that they just yeah. did. Yeah, <laughs> trying to get the bones. They're like he picked up the bones and see it was a jawbone, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, that that was that was a crazy that was a crazy episode. It was a pretty good episode too. <laughs> but like, man, just think of, just thinking about that. I, I mean, like, if I was in that situation, I know they had to like, when when someone's like getting rid of a body, they basically have to like cut the limbs and put in the acid and stuff yeah. but I feel like if I was in that situation and I had to cut even if it was a dead body and I had to cut the what's it called cut into pieces cut off their limbs it would like Good take pain. me yeah yeah well basically yeah cause it would take me like so much willpower to, to cut off limbs even if it's if it's living or not if a dead body cause like oh uh, cause like I, I can like s- clearly see it like happening like to me or, or something oh I thought, was, <laughs> I thought that's just natural like like who would wanna who would wanna like go through having to uh, destroy a body? Yeah, and and uh, what's it called? I mean, I guess if I was in their situation and like I need to get rid of this evidence, I'd, I'm gonna probably have to do it sooner or later. But oh, just thinking, just like cutting a, cutting the flesh, hacking away at the bone. <clears throat> oh, I can't do that. I, I I'll, I'll just bring my uncle. My uncle loves doing that. <laughs> What? <laughs> um. What? What? <laughs> but yeah, uh, very, very powerful episode. Uh, go watch, go watch Breaking Bad, y'all. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll really see how much, I'll see how much I can like try and get through it again, uh, it, unless I have like a long ass hiatus. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take me like three years to finish it if I even wanna try and do it because of the fucking ways of like oh, I'll watch one episode because I'm bored and like. Cut like five weeks later. Oh, I'll watch another show because I'm bored. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that was my uh thing, and uh, uh update on Scott Pilgrim versus the World. The game. Me and Sebi have been playing through it, and we're on the last stage, Gideon, and we have to do some grinding because we have to do a lot of grinding. <laughs> we realize how long the fucking thing is with like 
two boss, two boss, we two boss fights so far in the level. There's probably, there's probably some more. I made a dis. I made the great discovery that we need to get bionic arms. I was, I we were getting lies, and then I saw that bi bionic arm that made you made you stronger. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, then I wonder how much because it's expensive too. It was so uh, plus, a 50, plus fifty. Plus fifty, yeah. And I we used to go into like a, a stage, and it it destroys the enemies. It's crazy how fast. Yeah, they and Sebi Sebi got two, and like uh, the, yeah. the bionic arm even bionic arm it even stacks. So now he's got a hundred. I got one. I need to get one more. Yeah, usually one tap or two tap now. Yeah. And now, what our plan is is that Justin grinds to get a second bionic because he already bought one. I, yeah. When I when I got my a uh, second bionic arm, he bought his first. Mhm. Mm now he's gonna grind to get his second one, and I'm either gonna grind to I don't know if he could stack another one because he only have two arms. Unless uh, still is a little freaky. <laughs> but um. I think it's only two. Yeah, it doesn't. It makes sense if you could stack it even more. But um, if I can, then I'll just buy it. But otherwise, I'm gonna just focus on stacking for lives. Yeah, the the lives uh really help. Because usually the first stage alone, it takes us live. The first section, the elevator, which is kind of sad. Kind yeah, so we we could get through it, but like, it it's a it just it just gets a little hectic, and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so far, what's your what's your favorite level? Or what, um, what has been? How many, you played? Yeah, you played through all of them. I forgot what it was. I think because. I wanna say it was the the twin. Yeah, it was the twins. <laughs> yeah, I I you know I think even though they were kind of easy, I like the I like the twin stage because uh, there one, were so many cool like character like enemies. Yeah. I mean, you got robots, robot, Mega Man, X Mon Monta no, Minaj. <laughs> what is it Minaj? What? Reference. I should say reference. <laughs> I should say reference. And <laughs> I heard montage for a second. Yeah, I said I was like I meant something. There's like a word with an M. That's like ref, that's like similar. It's like a synonym to reference. I'm pretty sure. Reference. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm blanking. <laughs> yeah, I I think I gotta agree with you. The 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 Katianagi twins, even though they're a pretty easy boss. Yeah, we literally clapped them the second we. <laughs> we just you just pogo jump them, and they go to res each other. You could just pogo jump them. Yeah. I mean, it's isn't it isn't it something else? It's not a pogo jump. I just call it that because yeah, I guess you're able to, you're able to jump up, jump, jump up, jump up, and get down. Yeah, but I, I love I love the the robots to the 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 unique looking enemies with the from the Halloween party and like one the one of the main reasons why I like that is the fucking music. That's like probably yeah, one of my favorite so songs. And then the like the Halloween, pop. the Halloween party. I'm like fucking. Mm. I listen to that driving on my on my drive home <laughs> today. My favorite is the introduction to the boss. So like when you enter the room, they're like playing on their. Uh, yeah, their their organ, or whatever. Yeah, synthesizer yeah. organ. Uh, that's what it looked like. Synthesizer. <laughs> one of my, or I think one of my uh. Well, they all have good music. I I really the the other one I the other stage I really liked for its music was the what's it called the second stage Lucas Lee. I I really like that music too. That one it was a uh, I I wouldn't even have words for it. It's just it's just that good. The whole soundtrack also, is basically a bop. Also, nice dad is super interesting. <laughs> yeah, he's not like all the other bosses. It's a random one, so he'll just appear on the map. You have to go to him and then you fight him, but you only have one chance. As in, if you die, um, go down, no, is it you? If you go down, you're out, or if you die, you're out. If you die, you're out. Because like, if yes. you if you just like lose one life, you lose all your willpower and things. Even if you have like a lot of lives, then once you go down once, then you then uh, they go away. Yeah, I don't even think you waste a life. I think it just kicks you out. Huh. But yeah, I I think I explained it to you before, but like that's a what's it called? What's mm -hmm. it? Would be reference? That now I'm now I'm thinking of it, but it's it's like a little like thing for the comics because like uh at the same time Scott was fighting Roxy, the uh, fourth evil X, 
he was also oh, like yeah, you, yeah yeah you were telling me this that he that uh knife's dad's supposed to appear with the roxy yeah he was he was like, he was, like juggling with with knife's dad and trying to fight him and after like uh scott defeats roxy he turns to mr mr chow I'm just gonna call him Mr. Chow, and he's like, "Look, I did nothing to offend your 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 daughter, or I did nothing to hurt your daughter's honor or anything. I just think our relationship wasn't working out, and I swear we barely even kissed, and and then like suddenly he disappeared or something. So yeah, uh, Knives' dad was basically just going after Scott because he thought that uh he broke Knives' heart really bad or something, and he wanted revenge. But uh yeah. Also, I wonder when we get to play as Nega Scott. We we, we fought. Oh, we can play as him? Yeah. I wonder That's if it's... Cool. It could be a reskin, but at the I same th- time... I thought maybe. it was a reskin. I don't know, because like, the, the only main difference I've seen, besides the the color palette, is that uh, Negascot's hair is up. Like, like very up and spiky. Super Scion. And then Scott's is down. But, uh... Yeah, we'll probably do some... Maybe we'll do some grinding later. And, uh, we have to do grinding. If you want to be Gideon, the final one. I want to. I want to. There's one also thing in Wallace's shop is uh, Feast of the Lords. Oh, yeah. And and I wonder what that is. Like, I wonder if it's either you get all your health back or if it's something way different. Yeah, maybe health and willpower. That would that would really help. Because again, it, again, it's super expensive. So like, yeah. Also, like grinding, I, grinding for money is actually like a lot. Cause they count the cent, they count the cents too. So you're gonna need a lot. And you told me that there was this sh- other secret shop from that guy in the crowd, but you didn't know where he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably look it up after. <laughs> Ooh, did you look up Wallace? Uh, no, nah, I, I stumbled upon Wallace. Uh. And, and like that that was when you see I you get a see extra lives which really helped. <laughs> and then uh what's it called? I feel like to grind we should do a uh, Roxy stage again. Sure grind. What? I mean yeah, I <laughs> to grind. Yeah, to get like I was things that and just like kill, yeah, and just, just kill her again. I'm just nervous that we're going to be losing lives to her. She's so op- she's she's crazy good. Uh, I mean, difficult. Even even if we die, we we just we should what's it called? Uh, get a game over so we could get all the lives back. Yeah, and we're just doing it for the money. We're 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 not really okay. looking for a thing. We just want a lot of money. The way I defeated her, I just kept dodge rolling. I just kept dodge rolling, dodge rolling until and then sneaking in hits, like from time to time. Yeah, dodge and- rolling is pretty crazy. It's very crucial for the last fights. Yeah, like, like especially Gideon. Gideon, you need to have do- dodge roll. <laughs> Did you? Uh, That's really how you dodge his attack. Most of his at- attacks. Oh, you know what? You know what? Other stage has very good music. The the rock club, where you fight uh-huh. Todd. Oh yeah. yeah I, li- I like Todd's boss fight. I like Todd's boss fight. Stage your favorite? Uh, I don't want to say it's my favorite, but I'm not sure. We haven't be getting into anyways. Yeah, very unique. That that's kind of one of my pet peeves, <laughs> because uh, what's it called? This was a very uh, this was a point pointed out by Yurik Salabar. He also made a video about Scott Pilgrim and how the game was almost a disaster. Mm. Which, oh wait, you watch that video? Is it yeah? Is it if he makes like a uh, super mega animations or like skits? Like he animates or skits? Super mega. I think he did. Yeah. He did one super mega animated. He did the Oni plays one where like Tiny oh, Hitler. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. I meant Oni plays. Sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's because it's because Matt is in there. Most of them. Yeah. 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 And it's it's in yeah. like it's in like comic book form or whatever. You yeah, that that's one? what I kept referencing. Yeah, I I watched that one. I would have reference. I kept referencing. <laughs> and it played Persona Four music. Da, 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 da. But uh, yeah, it was it that's was that guy. That was my favorite one. Where uh, the Tiny Hitler and <laughs> and that. Uh, Girlfriend? Uh, yeah, it was hy- hypothetical girlfriend. <laughs> if my clone of your girlfriend, I fucked her. Would you still be mad? <laughs> and they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically, basically about the bosses. Uh, some of them just don't even have like a phase change, and like it just it catches you off guard when they start blinking. Like Matthew Patel, 
and you you fight him. So it's and like you, it's like three stages. It's just him, and then hipster demon tricks, and then him plus hipster demon tricks. When you get to Lucas Lee, you, he's just like running around hitting, and you got like the other skater boys trying to attack you, and all of a sudden he starts flashing. So there's not really like a phase change in the thing when which which is kind of disappointing. And then with Todd, and then with Todd, you got like him and like the vegan stuff, and then like that's cool. Roxy too, you he's can crazy. you can see the he's, phase the change. The first boss is crazy easy with bionic arms. I, I remember I just his health was just like zero when we were punching him. Yeah. Also, I just want to say about that with the game. I don't know if it's fair to say I'm disappointed, but I I, I thought I thought. Th no, no, I, I don't care about how short or um, long, but uh, how the game isn't, I thought the game was going to be a rework of the old game to make it better, because the old game was rushed. Yeah, and it still it has like a ton of bugs. Well, it's, it, in, and uh, if you see now, it's more, well, it's more of a, it's more of a port than a remake or remaster. Sometimes the bugs I'm fine are, with. are like, okay. Like, like, remember we were, like, we got revived even though we were dead? Yeah. That... But, like, but, like, then there's, like, bugs that just, like, break, that, like, is unfair and I get, we take damage or something. Yeah, there's, it's still, like, it still has a lot of bugs. There, uh, that part, the third stage with Todd in the Rock Club, this is when, uh, me and Kevin were playing, because I was just stuck, I was stuck on that stage. And, uh, and, uh, what's it called? And, uh... I, I need I needed help because there was just like too much dudes. We would be like fighting a crowd and it would be like three. We'd be fighting three people and no one was attacking me. And then uh, I see like someone off screen, like an enemy off screen. He, I see him by a little like pixel. I see his little fist and he's like punching the air. And then I'm getting attacked out of nowhere. And I'm like, what the fuck? He is he actually attacking me from off screen? And like that took away some of my fucking life, which fucking sucked. Uh, that we had to deal with that. Yeah, that sucks. And also, like, I, I don't know if it just it just happened, but like, I feel like the f enemies start to focus more on second player than first player, or like they'll flip flop a lot. Like they just or like remember we were I was fighting and they were all going on you and like two one or two enemies were on me, yeah. and then like or the or the other way around. Yeah. But like they just like they just like really gang bang you and they don't give you like a chance. Sometimes they they give you a chance to revive. Uh, so remember you were saying that you uh what's it called? You thought Scott Pilgrim is easier than River City Girls. I actually think it's the opposite. I think River City Girls is easier than Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's because I've been playing it for you and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, what do you mean? Because then because when you have a partner, it makes the game easier. Yeah. And then like, e even on average Joe, like, which is like the easiest setting, it's still it's still really difficult. It's still pretty difficult if you're doing single player. But uh, yeah. Well, I I started all this Scott Pilgrim talk because uh, with this being said, I kind of want Scott Pilgrim and Smash now. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I don't know. I'm I'm not fully bought in the Scott Pilgrim. Really? Why? No. Uh, he's just a guy with. That's cool. <laughs> so, you don't want Scott Pilgrim, who can actually fight, but you want Freddy Fazbear? <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care, but I, I, I wouldn't really want Scott. I don't think he, I don't think he buys it for me. I, I feel like he can, he can definitely have a move set. Uh, but I was, uh, think, yeah, I was thinking, every like every character can have a move set. It's just that. I'm not as no, but like, no, but like he has it like right there for him, like with like other with like what's it called? Yeah, so does so does Rayman from Rayman Legends, but he's not in Smash. Yeah, well, Rayman's a uh, little homosexual, but <laughs> we're not we're not gonna get into that. Because <laughs> he's got the he's got the double jump. He doesn't really have any like special moves like B moves. So I was thinking like like the way they can make him unique. Oh. Is have like the A, <laughs> is have the A button be the light attack and the B button be like the heavy attack and you just like make combos like that, and like, I, that, I mean, that's, that that's just work. like one little idea. And I was thinking like that's probably what they're gonna do if they ever add him. 
I was thinking, what's it called? Uh, compared to the other characters, is he really like? Has he really fought and like faced big challenges like the other ones? Like Mar, like Mario always fights the Bowser and and multiple bosses. And I was like, and I'm guess I guess uh, Scott like does that. Like he's he's he faced the X's with some of them with powers and like, some of them with like, not some stronger than the others. And trust me, he he qualifies for a Smash character, but in my opinion, I wouldn't want Scott. He's he's also based off a comic, and then I, I'm I'm not sure, but they did have they did have what's it called? They did that they did pour his game on Switch, which I don't know. So yeah, uh, I I guess I'll check I'll check I'll chalk that up with characters I want in Smash. Unless he's like the best brawler, <laughs> and like I like I mean not the best brawler. Unless he's like my favorite brawler, mm -hmm. then Incineroar, and I wouldn't want. <laughs> then otherwise I wouldn't want Scott. I see I see what you're saying. Uh, but oh, for the final smash, they can have a uh, the band play, and the the big ass snow monster appears in the back. And eats it, them. I mean, it, it nom, 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 nom. For them because lately Smash has been lazy with Smash fights, but <laughs> at least half the stuff of they actually improved somewhat. I mean, we mean, still mean lazy. PNG. It's still moving a PNG. What? Wait, what do you mean lazy? Do you not remember Byleth Heroes Final Smash? Byleth Heroes? What? By Byleth and Heroes Final Smash. Oh, were super yeah, what, lazy. what about it? What about it? They were super lazy. They were just a PNG. And then like, and then the 3D model like moving a little. Compared to like Steve, oh. where they went into Minecraft and, and Minecraft <laughs> and built this whole structure and blew it all up. Joker's just pretty and, good. And Sephiroth is like in between because the first part of it, it looks cool, but again, it's oh just Sephiroth a PNG, is but, beautiful. But 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 then but then it has that cool sequence with the laser beam and the the planet exploding. Wait, what about isn't Min Min's like that too? Flashes of characters. Yeah. Then yeah. punch. I mean, the thing is, is that Min Min kind of gets some slack because <laughs> it's like Mega Man's final smash. Oh with, oh. With all, with all the characters, right? I don't remember if the characters were actually modeled or they were 2D. Because if they're all modeled, then it gets a pass. But if if they were 2D, then no. I think it's the same with Joker's Final Smash too. Because I remember, I like when, when no, I was Joker's just like, Joker's is cool. I like Joker's. Yeah, but I was like observing in the thing, and you see where they all jump up. You can clearly see Joker. But I remember just I just kept pausing, like, because I was trying to get like every single frame, or I was just like trying to like closely observe it. And I I think like they actually. Uh, oh yeah, well they do have the models of the thing because they appear in the moment they appear in the memento stage. But they it's actually like their models are there. There's like a there's like our new models when when they're jumping up for the final smash, which is pretty well, cool. Well, technically, I don't think they're new because they're in the stage. So that's probably why they why they did that. And they, they, they just yeah they just reuse it over there. <laughs> it's kind of weird how they chose to do the after playing persona they chose to do the final smash was uh the all out attack instead of some instead of the joker summoning the his ultimate persona and going going him which maybe is nice it's a, well, I guess. maybe it's a spoiler oh wait that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is very smart cuz I'm you said the ultimate persona I'm assuming that's at the end of the game and that's probably going to be a spoiler I mean Sephiroth is kind I of a spoiler too this is Sephiroth's, like, final form. But who's gonna play Final Fantasy? Am I right? <laughs> Nerds! <laughs> I said that really loud. <laughs> well, like, with Persona, I, I it makes sense because uh, Sakurai really likes Persona, and he would definitely want someone to play it, so mm -hmm. he wouldn't want to spoil it, spoil it for them. Very interesting. Um. <sighs> I should good. Sorry, <laughs> sun chips, man. I which fucking one, which flavor? Which flavor? Which the, flavor? The, the original. Oh, I don't know the original. Oh. The original to me is the cheddar cheese. Yeah. <laughs> this is all right. Wait, Dude, is that you know the original? No, no, that. No, the original is just like. I think it's just like salted. Oh. But they still slap. Sun chips is like one of my favorite chips. It's like so good. 
You don't make yeah. you don't make this even perfect. If I had like a juice box or a Capri Sun to go with this. <laughs> For me, when I I would get Subway when it when it came with Sun Chips. I usually would get them with my sandwich at Subway, mm -hmm. and for some reason, I would have, this is what I would get, I would get uh, just a regular old sandwich uh, with turkey, lettuce, a shredded mozzarella, Yep. and uh, and pickles, I, I didn't get pickles back then. Still no pickles! But, um, and mayo, that's what it was, and I would get cheddar cheese sun chips, and then for my drink, I would get chocolate milk. Oh yeah, wait the little ones, right? Did you get the little one? I think it was the. Wait, would you, would no, you get the full long like sandwich or the six inch? Six inch. I would get six okay. inch. I was a tiny little boy. Oh and okay, then, I thought this was like recently. <laughs> no, and then but like with chocolate milk, you get the. I think it's Yuhu with the bunny rabbit. Yeah, yeah. And it was like the. No bottle. wait, wait, that, that that was Nesquik. Oh Nesquik, it was the bottle. So like it was, like you know your water bottle right next to like the size of that. Yeah yeah. Wait, so what, what, what about, are we just talking about your meal from no, somewhere? <laughs> no, just now I think about the it. The Sebastian like, Gomez classic. Would you want a pair of chocolate milk with cheddar cheese chips in <laughs> that is That is a weird thing. You're getting a lot of, what's it called? That's... Calcium. Or dairy. Dairy in, in, in that matter. Uh, yeah, same thing. Calcium, dairy. So I'm, I'm, I'm over here. What's it called? My hands are covered with cheddar cheese. I'm over here sucking my fingers. Oh, oh, yeah. Going for a swig of chocolate milk. Ah. You know, you know, it was my combo. I always got from Subway. I always got the chicken bacon, ranch melt. I didn't really get chips. And then I, I got a, a big fountain drink of the vitamin water. Mmm. Um, this is good. When Wait. it came to like, I don't know if you noticed when when you when we go out and we uh eat. If, I don't know if you know this, but a lot, just anywhere when we're like, like, when we're like, all hanging uh, out or, or, yeah. Okay. Or like when we went to, uh, uh, Grand Lux for my birthday. Yeah. I actually use my left hand when gra uh, grabbing a drink. Really? Like, yeah, I always use my left hand. Why? Do you, you eat with your right because, hand? Yeah, that, that's the idea. So I'm eating with my right hand and usually my, I'm with my hand, so it's going to be messy. So then... I, um, so then I know my left hand's clean, so that's what I used to drink it with. My left hand. Huh. Now, now that got like, me thinking, like, what the fuck do I do? I think I just grab it with my, like, wrists. And, like, <laughs> You with your wrists? <laughs> yeah, because my fingers would be dirty. So I just use oh, the wrist and, like, oh, kind of grab it. I know you mean. <laughs> Damn, because, I, I, like, I never noticed that. If you think that. about, like, you're getting all, like, say, like, you're eating, like, uh, uh, something messy. Yeah. With your hands, you're. <laughs> say, your say hand? you're eating cheddar, cheddar cheese, sun chips, and chocolate milk. It has like all the dirt from the food on on your hands, and then you put that on the drink, and then when you go to grab it again, there's just like, <laughs> or like say you say you finish eating, and you clean your hands, and then your drink is just covered in the dirt, so you basically just wasted cleaning your hands. Yeah. <laughs> you know, next time, next time uh, we go out to eat. And you're using your right hand to do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, grab your left hand with my dirty right hand and see, and see, and see what what happens with two, when when two dirty hands meet, where does the boy get the drink? What's gonna, what's gonna what? happen? Is he, gonna, is he gonna die of thirst or is he gonna figure out the situation? Oh, oh, I, I get, it, I get it. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have two dirty hands, <laughs> cause I'm gonna grab with my shit infested hand <laughs> to cover you and shit. Oh, you cover my whole body somehow <laughs> with one hand. I just start throwing shit at people when they they get too near our table. You go, you go ape mode. They're they're talking a little too loud. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I I I, ju <laughs> I jump on the table and start throwing shit at them. This is Planet Apes. And that that's how I I, I can't go back to Panera. <laughs> you know that was funny too. I was thinking Panera when you said that. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was thinking Panera like that's where we're eating and stuff. I don't know why that I just what I, when you were just saying that story or just that whole story when I was talking about like you need drinking with my left hand I was just thinking about Panera I didn't say anything about Panera but <laughs> yeah that, that's crazy because I was thinking about Panera too like that's the place where we're eating because we ate there once and like yeah. that that that's the perfect thing 
And the funny part is that we barely <laughs> eat, like ate there once, even though we've been to other places. I love Panera. Eat. The go-to drink I get at Panera is their what's it called? Their green tea. I love their green tea. With me, um, I just asked for a water get... cup and fill it with soda. <laughs> With me, I usually get. I think they had strawberry lemonade in the back. Just a fountain drink. In the, in, 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 in the back, you, you have to go behind the counter when they're not looking <laughs> and no. get it. And, sir, sir, <laughs> sir, you can't be back here. Yeah, <laughs> sir, that's a water cup. You're filling with a strawberry lemonade. No, no, did you say like I'm mean, like, sir, you can't be back here? <laughs> he does something. Oh no, he. This, I think it was close, so he said that meme. It's like, oh, sir, you can't be back here. And he's like, chicken sandwich. Or like, he gets a, <laughs> yeah. he gets a chicken sandwich. The ball, the ball's on that man. <laughs> I, I would love to go behind a counter and just like... It's just... R- rampage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even getting anything. I just go behind the counter and start knocking shit over. <laughs> I'm I'm at like a subway. I'm like I'm like flipping the toppings. I'm mixing the toppings. What are you? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> we can't go anywhere if you just. <laughs> oh my god, we can't go anywhere with you. You're so crazy. I like my chicks. <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> Cut to me fucking throwing the croissants everywhere. <laughs> ow, ow! <laughs> Sippy cup. <laughs> I. I I uh instead of asking for a water cup at the counter, I'm just, I go up and like sippy cup and like I- I'm sorry sir, <laughs> S- sippy cup. I, I, we, sir, we, we, we don't, we don't, we don't have, have we don't that ha- here. I'm I'm sorry sir, we, we don't have sippy cups. You you, you want a water cup? I'm just looking. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I jump over the counter and like fucking mess up their bread bowls and grilled cheeses. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm a wanted man at Panera. When they see me, they 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 actually have the permission to they shoot po- shoot me on sight. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, can I go back there? <laughs> uh, speaking of food, when was the last time you had mall food? Which is basically just like schlop. I mean, I don't I don't I wouldn't say schlop. Really? No. You know what is schlop? Fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> when yeah. you when you get their Taco Bell burritos and like it's just like mush in there, like that's slop, but it's like good slop. Yeah, I was gonna say, but it's so good. <laughs> and also, oh, you ever had a walking taco? Wait, walking taco? <laughs> yeah, every time when we have like, well, we haven't we haven't had this recently because of the COVID, but like when for the wrestling team and like uh we would have a our the parents of our of the wrestling team, they would have a concession stand. And while the tournament's going on in the Clark gym, they would be running it. And one of the I- items that they had would be a walking taco. They basically they would What's take like walk? they would have a mini, you know, those like little snack bags of Doritos. Yeah. Yeah, they would have it. They would crush up the Doritos inside and then fill it up with lettuce, tomato, cheese, beef, mix it all in, put a, put a plastic fork in there, or whatever, and bam, hand it to the kid two two fifty. Give me that, please. And you you just have a walking taco. You just like. Oh, how is that a taco then? Because, because you're, it has the ingredients of a taco. Yeah, with with the little oh. like meat, cheese, lettuce. Oh wait, they put it in the Dorito bag. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I, I would and it, try they they they, like, mi- they mix it all together. That's the way I would not I want, but to experience and try it. Yeah, I never really got it because I guess I was like kind of grossed out by it. But like now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, like yeah, because the thought of it is really gross. But like. Yeah, you know, I I, I kind of want to do that just for like, I I just want to get the experience of it. Getting experience of eating a walking taco, dude. Justin, you should make it a video. Uh, just in fact, in Justin's kitchen, Justin makes that. a walking taco. Yeah, while it's walking, easy. it's easy. Oh yeah, while walking. <laughs> I'm walking around my block. I'm I'm, gra- I'm grabbing the beef from my pocket. I, I didn't put in like a oh, <laughs> container. Yeah. I'm just grab- putting it in, shaking it up. Going, yeah, up- I'm going up like, to random people. Like- hey man, you want some? Yeah, in your pocket you had like pennies and like dust, <laughs> and, like <laughs> dust buddies in there. You, you, you see like a condom fly out. What? Like like an unused condom. <laughs> Just in your fifteen. Yeah. And you have a condom. What? Wait, you don't you don't wear a condom every day? Because I'm not trying to have sex. No, I, yeah, I'm. I don't have sex. I'm. I'm fucking scared of sex. I'm trying to protect myself from sex. I I wear a condom for an extra safety it just measure. Comes to you. What? Well, I I, I hope I hope it doesn't, cause there's 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 people who just like grab people, 
which is consi- oh. which is violation. So I, I I keep that condom on my penis, <laughs> just for an extra safety. It's like kind of like a force field. It's like it's like field. you know like what's Captain America without think, his shield? You know. I think I keep that I condom. Think, I keep that condom on. I think you're going a little extreme, just because I'm scared. I switch it out. I switch it out every day. I, and for for extra safety measures, I put my balls in there too. I put my balls in the condom. <laughs> Damn, you have so much stretchy condom. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I, I don't really want to imagine that, but I could kind of imagine my own balls in penis. <laughs> yeah, but squeeze, just like just kind of squeezing in the condom. Like, come on, get in there. <laughs> you need to be protected. Yeah, well, one time one time I I made the mistake of ordering extra large condoms instead of extra small. I had, it, it took me a long time to return the extra large condoms. But, uh... I mean, yeah. what do you need extra large for? If you're trying to fit your balls, no, because it's 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 too baggy. It's like I'm wearing a plastic. <laughs> it's like I'm wearing a latex glove over my my penis. It gets irritated. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Cause it's that cause that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, I I just I just keep it there. But uh, yeah, uh, walking taco uh coming soon. <laughs> I'll probably use different chips. But these sun chips are actually pretty perfect. I get the gold, the gold, the gold, the garden the salsa body. flavor, because of uh, my family just went shopping. They got like the variety pack. It comes with the. Of course, they make cheddar cheese the most. There's the 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 most of it. That's the that's the most uh, cheddar cheese they have in it. There's like ten cheddar cheese, eight original. Seven garden salsa and like five sour cream and onion. So then when you come over, I'm expecting that. I'm expecting that. <laughs> Walking taco, you're like walking. Well, <laughs> I dropped a walking taco on the way here. <laughs> and then, and it's like it's all like crumbled. <laughs> I like stepped on it too. It has a little snow in it. <laughs> That's also the day I decide no, to wear like a white that... shirt. <laughs> I'm just covered in Dorito crust. Oh, and, and oh, I was like, what are you? What's so better a white shirt? Hey man, uh, I got the walking taco. <laughs> Imagine no, doing I'm the. Scared, imagine making I'm a walking you taco. you actually do that. <laughs> because, like, hey, that's disgusting. <laughs> and then I make a joke about like, oh, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> but then like I actually actually like drop it, and it wasn't like intentional. I'm like, oh shit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if everyone tried to make a walking taco. Bless, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't. I try to hold it in. I don't think. <laughs> what? It's not bad to hold it in, right? I always wondered that. Uh, I think if you hold in too many sneezes, you will actually f- pop. <laughs> There's actually a way you could transfer your sneezes so you can, like, have, like, a shart. But uh, that's, a, <laughs> that, that's, that's a technique you'll unlock over the age of 22. And uh, we'll go... We'll go. <laughs> how, do you know? how do you know about it? Oh, my, co- my cousin has been telling me. <laughs> he does it all the time. It's so funny. Uh, uh, Justin, come uh, check it out. And he sharts his pants in front of me. <laughs> But yeah. I should have remembered your cousin's name. I couldn't remember it. The one that that's like, I'm in his Captain Falcon club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it's not him that shorts his pants. It, it, it's a different cousin. <laughs> but mean, uh, yeah, he's, too, he's not even 22. Your cousin. <laughs> you know how you can like, speaking of the walk, uh, back to the walk and taco talk. Uh, they they usually do the little bags, but I wonder what it would be like. You you could basically just have a meal if you like like the party size bags. The party like the Cool Ranch or Nacho Cheese Doritos. Just add a shit ton of meat, maybe some beans in it, cause it's a big one. Lettuce, yeah. and crush it all up. You probably, unless you're like. Wait, wait, wait! I didn't hear the first part. I just realized I didn't hear the first part. Did you say the a family pack? Yeah, or like the party size. Yeah. Making a okay. walk and taco with that big. Okay, like, so I was gonna say, wait, why do you need big beans? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't know if you'll still want to eat it out the bag. Maybe just pour it in out in the. No, I rather. Yeah, I don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to see what I'm putting inside my body. I, I, <laughs> it's like a taco bell burrito. In the <laughs> the the breading is covering the inside. <laughs> yeah, and then like <laughs> you're eating Never you're eating inside it inside of a taco bell burrito. <laughs> <laughs> you're eating it and like yeah, it's all dandy. And then like you make that realization when you look inside your burrito, it's like fucking flapjack where they zoom in on it and like oh, <laughs> when they see how ugly it is. Or like that part in SpongeBob where like, hey, what did he say? <laughs> did these Krabby Patties were made of, and they look down and it's just like green, no, like gray slime. Like, <gasps> oh, I thought I thought you're referencing um either two two uh, scenes where 
SpongeBob is like dehydrated, uh -huh. and like <laughs> his face is all like disgusting. Crusty. Or, or like when when there's like a butterfly somehow entered in the ocean. Oh yeah, because <laughs> Sandy brought it down. That was a scary yeah. episode. Yeah, I got scared by that when I was younger. It's just the butterfly is so zoomed in, and you don't never see a butterfly zoom so zoomed in. Yeah, they made it scary. They think it's just a little thing, and then they uh they show real footage of like a butterfly up close, like. <laughs> really, if you think about it, a lot of insects are just ugly, but that's because we think they're ugly because they don't look like us. Yeah, I mean, do you think it? Would... <laughs> Wait, so oh, so if if they had human faces. The bugs, and then, they're, oh, they're, they're beautiful. I just imagine I'm walking down the street, I see a praying mantis with, like, my face. It's like a human face, like Matthew McConaughey's face. Like, hey, what's up? Oh, that bug, that's a majestic-looking bug. And, like, it's fucking eating bees. Or something, I don't know, I forgot what the praying mantis eats. And then, like, and then, like, animals that, like, like, dogs, they don't look like us, but they, that we like them because we've deemed them as cute. Yeah, fucking love dogs. Like, people can, you could deem anything cute. Like, there's a lot of, like, like people love, like, worms. People they love bugs. People cute. love spiders. Uh, yeah, they get so comfortable with their pet spiders. They did the thing, you know, what Billie Eilish did. Has it in their like, mouth. Oh, yeah. And, like, they record it. Like, oh, check this out. They, re they record it. They see it crawling out their mouth. Uh, I, I can't get too comfortable with spiders. I, even though there are spiders that are, what's it called, harmless. They won't harm you. Uh, unless you harm them or like uh, some of these spiders that aren't what's it called hostile at all I, I don't want any spider just get me away from the spider and then we have those rare exceptions where like with monkeys we think they're funny <laughs> we see... monkeys dude I can go to the zoo I know they are funny <laughs> I can go in the zoo and sit at the monkey section for like five hours and I wouldn't be bored <laughs> I would just be so intrigued on what they're doing like, my, fa my favorite monkeys to watch are the orangutans because they're like the most smartest ones. Which one's one? Which is the orangutan? Is one of the orange fur and With flat, the, yeah, flat face, that, right? They're yeah, kind of they weird looking. Really long arms. Their flat face is kind of like weird looking. It kind of it kind of yeah. does creep me out, but then like the monkeys. Yeah, the, the only exception, I wouldn't like them. But the thing is, is that because they have, they're like so interesting because they're so smart. Yeah. Like like you, see, there's a lot of a lot of times orangutans are the ones that, they're like. That people like talk with like you, you remember that like there was like an orangutan like in a podcast room it was wearing a t-shirt and it started grabbing the mic and it fell down oh yeah wait i don't think that uh, i don't think that was an orangutan i'm pretty no because I'm no because sure they, they, they have more flat faces do they oh where's the orangutan no because I, I remember i know the video you're talking about did they have the flat really face young, it had the flat face right it had the flat face it was a young orangutan that's why because i remember the flat face of the orangutan it was like it, it was like grabbing the mic and pulling it down hey yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> see that that's a funny trip. We're just recalling monkey moments and I was watching I was watching like this documentary. I mean not really a documentary, but like this uh like you know those videos like into nature? Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> and like our orangutan finds a uh saw. Like a saw? Um, like a the tool? A cutting saw, yeah. yeah. For like cutting wood. Uh -huh. And and he, she, I think it was a she. She quickly realizes to cut wood with it and starts doing that motion, but oh. she can't fully cut it in. But uh -huh. she's still doing it. Why? Because he's but like, he's not strong enough, like or she doesn't know. She has to go deeper. Keep doing it. Oh. <laughs> and then, and then they get a fake. <laughs> they get a fake monkey to like to sh demonstrate what she needs to do. Uh -huh. And then they do a comp, and then apparently the the guy, the narrator, says that they're in a competition, <laughs> and they're fighting to cut the wood. Uh huh. But hey, well, what's uh, the, she what's ends the up fake monkey? Up. Is it like it's just like tired. a guy in like a gorilla suit? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it looks like an actual like orangutan, but like you could tell after a while looking at it, it's fake. Like a robot it, or like a plush? It, it's it's yeah, it's more like. I don't know what I would call it a robot because it has a moving arm. You sure it's not a guy in a suit? It's not a guy in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> a guy in a suit would be too big. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Is it the cutter? <laughs> no, just that you would, you would be. A, <laughs> it's me. You would be, uh, I'm, I'm the famous actor behind the monkey mask. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no, none of us know it's you, but like. <laughs> 
I imagine that at the end of that video, uh, the orangutan makes a beautiful wooden cabin. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I know, he gets tired and then falls asleep right on the... Saw? He falls asleep on the saw? No, that's kind of dangerous. No, no. no. She's on, doing this on, like, like some um, deck. And then she just uh, t uh, moves the saw aside and sleeps on the deck. Falls asleep while sawing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if like if monkeys, what's it called? If if a monk, if like you know, how, like monkeys typically have like clans or tribes. Yeah. If a do if a monkey does like something to like sabotage or backstab the the, the tribe, the rest of the tribe will literally fucking gang up on that yeah. monkey, beat him, and fucking eat him. <laughs> they eat him too. I mean, I I knew they beat him because we learned in the what makes us moral. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it they take him out back and just fucking. Mm, mm. Yeah, even though the 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 guard tried to protect him, the, they they were not as. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> fucking getting savagely beaten. Hey, we're gonna have to play a uh, hide and seek with your family. <laughs> they sound like gangsters. <laughs> Imagine monkey gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> the the monkey mafia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, they didn't pay me in the right amount of bananas. That's gonna cost you some uh, limbs. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna play hide and seek with your, your bananas. Here's a hint. He drops a shovel in front of him. <laughs> and the fucking gorilla comes in. Ooh, ooh. Hey. Throw shit at the wall. Uh, I, I, I don't know why we, we keep him in here. The pigs are here. We gotta scramble. <laughs> get all the mo get all the bananas. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> the monkey bake is just bananas. And then like they they're all like climbing the trees, swinging on the vines. One misses the vine, falls down. Oh, oh no! They, they they got Tony. They got Tony. Oh, Tony was uh he was like a brother to me. He, he, he collected the most bananas. He ate the most. He ate. He ate the most fleas off our backs. We'll never isn't forget it, you. Is it lice? <laughs> I know, and fleas. Yeah, it was fleas and lice, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, if um, if you think about it, because back then, like, like the times of before the revolution, the American Revolution. They got monkeys in the war? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, imagine monkeys in war. But, like, they, they, like, they're they're all dressed like redcoats. <laughs> <laughs> Managing the cannons. But no, I was gonna say that um, because back then a lot of people had wigs because their because their lice was like a big thing and they just would lose their hair. Oh yeah. So like, what if people just started raising monkeys because they they would just eat the lice? Huh. Well, there are actually some monkeys who don't even what's it called? They don't have that problem to worry about. Cause uh, you ever seen a naked chimp? <laughs> nope. Oh, it's basically just like a chimp of no hair. They look pretty weird, but they're actually kind of goofy and funny. <laughs> it's just like a fucking naked chimp. They... Okay, you guys show me this after the podcast. <laughs> it, they have like no, they have no hair, and they're just like fucking. They they, they look British. I'll I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll say <laughs> Furl that. <laughs> Furless monkeys are British. <laughs> uh, that that's not a diss to British people. We're not calling you chimps. Uh, I think you just did. <laughs> just think it's canceled by the British Twitter. You know, I'm fine. I'm, I'm. I guess I'm just gonna have to do the the Boston Tea Party all over again. The Boston Tea Party too. Ooh. Ooh. And then just against this army of, <laughs> of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they launch war in my house, and then I I just get like a band of monkeys. Like, all right, men. I'm, I I have them all lined up with guns. <laughs> all right, men. We're gonna show them. We're gonna show them how how we fight. We're gonna fight hard. We're gonna fight rough. And like, and then I'm the the monkey like, playing with like it's like a uh, his hat. And like, don't put that hat on your head. Put put the hat on your head. Put the fucking hat on your head. And like, oh, oh! and the, all the monkeys gang up on me and start beating the shit out of me. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> they do the thing like that with Hulk and Loki, where like they like. Oh yeah. Doof, doof. <laughs> the gorilla, <laughs> the gorilla grabs you by my leg. Doof, doof. A gorilla could probably do that if, if they. That's were fucking sick. scary. <laughs> Dude, gorillas were fucking. Oh, monkeys in general, they bite, they grab, they will rip and tear you. And, and I just want to take a break for a moment just to say that this this uh, podcast was sponsored by Godzilla vs. Kong. Yeah, go go watch it. We're a team, team Monk. 
Team Monkey. Team Team Monkey. M O N K E. We're probably he's not probably not gonna win because uh things, but we love monkeys. And JP guy kind of raises a valid point about that. That it no one he said probably no one's gonna win. And it's gonna end up like a draw like last time. I don't remember what the last time was. I oh, guess there was I a. Mean, different... It's kind of obvious. Like think about how many Lin Monk fans are gonna be so upset. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I feel like it's it's like the dedicated fans versus like the like casuals I want to say which is <laughs> King Kong I mean I mean um Godzilla fans are the dedicated fans and then and then yeah, King yeah. Kong fans are just like casual people because they like monkeys I think I just shit my pants <laughs> what hold on no, no, we're good, we're good. Okay. <laughs> He's just as sticks his fingers all the way up. <laughs> I just no brown, no brown. <laughs> <laughs> no brown, go town. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I was I was watching this video and like they were talking about like, um, it was very like a lazy video. Like they were just looking at Reddit and it was like <laughs> final bosses, and like they did they did like a little challenge at the end, like said. A picture of like their final boss of them, and it has to be themselves. Mm-hmm. And like one of the, <laughs> the uh, and then there's this girl that sends a picture. She was like cosplaying as a guy fairy crossed with um, Hatsu- Hatsune Miku, <laughs> and it, it's like really like cursed. Oh. And then um, and then and then there's like a video of her that they were describing where she 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 uh she sticks her hand in her butt and then like s- smells it oh. and then she goes to reach the, the camera yeah <laughs> uh redditors am i right am i right guys uh i, I just at, at a laugh track right here there we go yeah hey hey <laughs> anyway uh you know Very gross they, sh- they should bring back uh mecha godzilla yeah. What was Mecha Godzilla's origin again? Like, yeah, why? Why did it come to be? It's not. It's not like the, the like I'm, a natural creature. I'm, I'm, Someone probably made Mecha Godzilla. I could. I could explain. <laughs> you, 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 you know about the kaiju? I, I I only know the origin of Mecha Godzilla because I was watching a toy review. <laughs> and, and they were nice. Because it, the toy review was based off because if you didn't know, um, Mecha Godzilla. Oh, and also and also Death Battle that too. I should have said death battle and I embarrassed myself the toy review, but um, <laughs> um Ryan store review. But he was reviewing this uh, figure that was based off the concept art and originally Mecha Godzilla was gonna be a combiner and it was gonna be three separate machines. One like flying one that like resembled Mecha Knights. Oh, so it's like Voltron or something? Yeah, but it was like three components. The first one was like it resembled like uh Meta Meta Knights like Battleship, mm-hmm. and and it was the head and tail, uh-huh. and then the middle part was a big laser cannon, yeah, and that would be the torso, mm-hmm. and I mean chest, and then uh, the last one, which, or was the, oh wait, there were okay one the legs were the were the laser, and then the torso and arms. Where the, where the, um, what's it called? Where the, where the, like, cannons. They just uh, have little, like, rockets. Wait, so how, how, is this, how is this tie-in on how Mechagodzilla? Oh, I just wanted to say it because that's how it originally, oh. but, like, how... <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? It's, it's content. <laughs> well, yeah, it's very, inter- it's very interesting, but I, I, I wanted to know, like, how Mecha Godzilla can okay. be like? Did they like? So, did the humans make Mecha Godzilla like try and combat yeah. Godzilla like in the movies? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So the original Godzilla, they killed. They they figure out how to kill it with this like, this bomb. Uh, spoilers, by the way, because they figure out how to kill him. The orig- the first like Godzilla, from the first movie with uh this bomb that the scientist figures out, mm-hmm. and what it does, it it basically destroys all the oxygen molecules in an area so that nothing can live basically oh where and and like it's so deadly that the scientist um uses it like sacrifices himself to use it on godzilla killing him and his his uh blueprints to make the the bomb 
Oh, weird. He said, and they, and it's all it leaves is just bones. So then later on, another Godzilla comes, and then they, so they decide to recover the bones from the original one and build a robot, like X, or just a robot out of the bones. Mm -hmm. And that's how Mecha Godzilla is created, using the bones of the original Godzilla, and just surrounding it with a bunch of like robotic parts. Now here's my here's my next question. Well, how does Jet Jaguar fit into this? Who is Jet Jaguar? I know he's who also is, one, he's also one of the kaiju. Jet, Jack? You know you know you, know you know Jet Jaguar? I don't. He's also like one of the kaiju. He appeared in the other movie. It was a uh, Jet Jaguar versus Megalon. But he's like he's kind of like a robot looking dude. He's kind of cool actually. Can you send like a picture? Yeah yeah. yeah. And I guess he fought right. Godzilla. He he has the power to fly communicate with i'm reading like right now fly communicate with monsters and alter his own size but like what the fuck is jet jaguar did like is this like an alien did like or is this like another mecha godzilla type of thing here here's like images of jet jaguar i'm sending one right thing now. i wonder if probably why they don't do mecha godzilla or bring him in is because he he kind of now think about it, he does have an overpowered attack his um his chest has this big laser thing, and it's called the Sub Zero. Oh. And what it does is that it forms this big like ball, and when it hits something, it turns all the molecules into like ice, and like it basically destroys it inside. So if you just touch it, it'll all shatter. There's nothing left. God damn, humans made these. Yeah. But you see Jet Jaguar over there. Oh. Oh, that's Jet. Wait, is, that's not Ultraman, right? No, that's Jet Jaguar. I, I know what you're talking about, Ultraman. Ultraman looks a, li a little different. He has, he has the red, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll look up a picture of Ultraman. Was He was he was also a, what's it called? Right? Fictional superhero. Uh, what is this? Have I ever seen Ultraman before? Fuck, I'm blanking out. Uh, Marvel? Marvel? The Rise of Ultraman? It's not. It's not, it's not Marvel? I don't, I don't think it's Marvel. Oh, because I'm. There's like these weird things right here. He just appeared. I think like he just like appeared comics. in Godzilla. That's all I know. He appeared in Godzilla. And he has games. And he has a Netflix series. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm looking at things just like different Ultraman. It kind of looks like another. What's it called? Sentai uh, show? Basically, if you don't know what Sentai is, it's basically like Power Rangers. They're like a group of people, and they have like the similar outfits. They all fight, and they uh, have like robots. <laughs> I should say, you know, I like, be. I, looking at the design, I kind of don't like Jet Jaguar's design. I only like the the bottom left. The you bottom left. One? Oh yeah, the, it looks like a Evangelion type thing or Gundam. Yeah, I was gonna say it just looks like Power Rangers. Dude, I, I want mean, Gundam. Voltron. That that one. I feel like the bottom left screen full turn just gets the fat V on his chest. <laughs> but what were you gonna say? About I want a Gundam. I want like a Gundam to build. I want to like get one. Dude, just... I actually get a, a lot of Gundams. Uh, I, I usually go to Newsbury Con. It's the only place I know. I know Target's been selling Gundams. And okay, from, from, the, was... the, the, from Japan, right? Where it comes like a little grid. You gotta take yeah. it out. Yeah. yeah, they sell both. They sell one that comes that you build and one that uh is like a figure but the the thing is the ones they sell over that i keep finding are this one that i've gotten and it sucks i don't like it oh really I don't like it how at come? All. it's like it's not like a, it's not i don't know how to explain it i just don't like the design mm -hmm. and like it and I, it was very flimsy when like the the it used uh for the waist there's a ball joint and it's super loose that it like falls off all the time i don't know if it's just my figure but i it's super right. annoying yeah. And also, the stickers are awful. That's why I've ever gotten them, really, the stickers. Even, That's even... why people just prefer painting them, but I don't I don't know how to paint. I don't feel like uh, it. Yeah. Even though I don't watch Gundam or know anything about Gundam, Same. I just, I just want, I just want like, the robot thing because they look because fucking so... epic. I just like them because they're robots, man. Robots are cool. I actually, I have, I have three Gundams. One is that one, it's like, it's basically... The one I was just talking about from Target is like a, it's kind of like an animal yeah. because it has like claws. Yeah, yeah. 
and then one is like a mini, like a mini version of the original Gundam. Like I guess you would say Chibi. Oh my God! Wait, it. Do they have Big Zam? I don't know who that is. Oh wait! Oh, I need to know if they have a Big Zam figure. I don't know who that is. That's a it's a a thing in Gundam. Can, can you Big send Zam. that? Yeah. And then um and then I have they a, do. Uh, and then I have an original Gundam, a straight up original Gundam. Hold on, I'm trying to look for like. Oh, that's cool. There's a little Hello Kitty Gundam. That's that's. And cute. then and then what was cool is that I found. When I went to their, I went to Target recently, and they had um snipping cool pliers. One. They had snipping pliers for snipping the little plastic things. Yeah. Yeah. So I got that. I'm really happy. I actually wanted that because I don't because a lot of times when building them, I I, I end up breaking them. <laughs> I'm trying to find a cool picture of Big Zam. End up breaking up a pe like when I was building the original Gundam, I broke the sh um the knee kneecap. Oh. I when taking it out, it just straight up broke. Uh huh. And then I had to glue it. Uh, I'm about to send a picture of Big Z. He's kind of like a walking, kind of like a walking fortress. That's like one of the best things I could him. But he's kind of like a meme. He's pretty funny. And, and like he's he's pretty cool. <laughs> my favorite. Oh, my plastic, too powerful. What the fuck? My favorite like kits that I got were has to be this. Remember I was showing you? It was like this ball and like a mech suit. It was like Hero Pla. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be my favorite one because it's super solid. It has a lot of posability. And it's just it's so cool. Like I and I looked it up and they have other ones that are like that. They go in like a suit of some kind. And I hope that when I go to Newsberry they have it. Yeah, but look that's big Zam right there. Look at that little unit. Yeah, I've never seen that. I think in the animator thing he's one of the biggest ones, I think. But uh I recognize yeah. the design. He's based off like out of one of the like enemy suits, I forgot they're called. Um, Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. I was trying to take a guess. But uh, yeah, I think that's what. I, I think if if you're done, then uh, that that wraps up for this episode. Damn. What? So that's sixty nine. Uh. Yeah. Two. See, I told you. I I I told you, viewers. Uh, the next episode's gonna be funny, funny, filled with jokes, and and better than before. Me tired. <laughs> we, we 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 promised and delivered. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't expect don't unsubscribe. Thumbnail, yeah. Expect this thumbnail to be the same one as last one, or, or <laughs> we put, and we add a two. Yeah, I was gonna say I just add a big two in the middle. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Because we already put all our energy in this podcast. That um, that we just that we have the right to just put the same thumbnail. I'll just put a two. Yeah, so uh, what do you say uh, we try to make our own big exam and pilot it? And, uh, and because we're so tired out, uh, Justin, you should put, instead of make drawing a 2, just put a PNG. Just like <laughs> find a, find, search up a 2 in, a Google, in Google Images and just pick the first one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as I was saying before, before you really interrupted me, what do you say we make our own oh. big exam? Oh, I see. Yeah. What do you say we make our own big exam and try and uh, fly around, stomp around? Okay, I like it. Even though, like, with Mega Godzilla, it took like a billion engineers and scientists. Ah. Uh, boys can can rival them. Yeah, yeah. We, we just make our own. We just make our own right there. It'd, it'd be pretty easy, it. dude. I mean, I I am in engineering <laughs> classes, and Justin's going into an engineer class. To, yep, yep, uh, yep. Next year. And and I I I <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty strong. I can probably lift the metal to put the put the things together yeah we, uh, we can no, make we can not, do this we're not gonna specify the metal you're just gonna have to think on your own because yeah i'm just gonna take a bunch of spoons <laughs> melt them so uh do that. yeah next episode uh big zam's coming to town and uh bye bye oh wait, wait I forget, I, i'm justin i'm sevy and we'll see you in the next one bye 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 oh shit i didn't hit stop wait, just a, how are we gonna do this big zam uh, you know, <laughs> wait that's kind of weird because i just i i didn't press stop recording yet I, I misclicked. Oh, I mean, I misclicked. I mean, oh, oh, oh. We got this. Uh, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna, okay, bye, bye. Oh, we're gonna